Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to build an iron farm. You can build either a very long day one or day two of your playthrough. And we'll also discuss what that is by the end of the episode. Now, obviously, put a roof on. Now, I do appreciate it's not the best roof. It's using the McCall roof. But it's a start, it's a roof. Now, we'll get over to that and I'll remember to talk about that by the end of the episode. It's not important right this second because we need to get over to the uh, village and I have uh, put the villagers ah. in place. I will do a video overlay of me doing that and I will talk with the memory of that water it's very loud put subtitles on just so we know everything is actually doing what it should but uh, yeah I'll do a video overlay and discuss how the villagers went based on my memory so we obviously built the capsules where the villagers need to go and unfortunately I got the two block high gap they need slightly wrong so I had to go up destroy and sort of bait them into choosing the beds up there and obviously they went in and I closed them in now the difficult part of it of the little capsules is the fact that we need them to be able to see the zombie and we could I've got it all wrong but as you can see they eventually went in and home and more or less cooperated but the difficult part comes now got his pot that's guys extra I don't want to hit him because I gotta go past that uh, golem now this guy needs to be able to see them ideally they actually come one block forward into that little spot here uh, F3 B here we go so that's the hitboxes Ideally, we go up there, we knock out some golem spawns. And I will actually stop a golem from being able to climb up. Uh, this block, this block, and this block. And we'll knock out that dirt block on the other side. And I just fell down in that. This is obviously where the golems are going to fall down into, ideally. The fact that we got no golems. Yeah. See, they're standing on their beds. That is not what I want. That was what I was worried about. I should be able to fix it. It formed a plank. Oh. What a mistake. Oh, where'd he go? You are... what? Why does Minecraft have to make villagers try to off themselves? You have no reason to just like go.
Get back up here. Come on. See, there's no reason why you should be trying to stay down there. Now he's running away. Like, <laughs> where's he going? I think he did. Uh, yep, he's coming up. So, I assume I showed this in the overlay, but this is how I got him to get in there in the first place. Come on. Up here. He had spark. No. Come on. That's it. Get up there. No. no. Okay, you don't see an iron golem. Ah, uh, zombie. Should sleep. He's attacking him, not this guy. Oh. Oh, we might be in business. So as you can see, we have zombies and villagers in the right spot. Now, it is a few hours later. I did take a break after that mishap. And so I am assuming, because I haven't edited yet, I showed obviously the start coming up, doing some things and our troubles. Now I'll show you what the issue was. Now, this is obviously up there. We were going around just placing all the trapdoors and we ended up placing some of the trapdoors like this. And to a degree, whoops, wrong button. Sometimes we built up like that and built on the, because we had slabs and everything. So we built up like that and ended up like that and the guy walked out. Now, what I went around and made sure is that we faced this way and placed them like that. And then if we break one of these, I really should make another axe because it did break. And inventory is an issue, so forgive that. Uh, so if we break these so we went round no we didn't do that we would have we would have went round did that then we would have seen that that didn't work and went like that standing on a block that's out there 
that was the issue that we had in the first place. Went round and didn't actually test it. So, oh, come on. Come on. I need to get some coral fans because that takes away this hitbox that he's standing on. I took away this middle one in the hope that he wouldn't have much to stand on. But yeah, we're going to need some coral fans because the hip, it doesn't have a hitbox and I uh, generally use coral fans on my mob farms once I did that and a lot of people started changing over once uh, people like me when I was building all the farms showed that it actually stops that from happening so there was a conversion period because of that but we'll go down and have a look at the collection area I end obviously because zombies slabs to get them a little taller because there's uh, just enough gap that they can't get hit because of the uh, signs so we got 55 in there plus some poppies so we got a poppy farm as well and yeah so I'll have to find a cor coral farm and this doesn't seem to matter I'm not sure whether he's still being see he's like a millimeter from falling in so yeah I'll have to go out and find some coral fans uh, as you can see I've got the hitbox thing on so you can see where he's looking so his eye level is actually good these guys can see him up until they decide to come over here and then if they stand here they go whoop if they stand here they lose him because of that trap door so ideally I'd take away these bottom trap doors but right now I'd rather have the double just to make sure that he's not gonna slip out due to some weird thing okay so this block this block is a bit of that vanilla plus it's primal primo gel goo you put a pull out this inventory is atrocious that'll do get one of these or you can get coal there is a and you go like that you then go and get uh, this is in here because I keep meaning to plant it and I haven't get a bit of rotten flesh and feed it as you can see it starts eating the block and that will night time that will take its time sleeping won't speed it up as you can see now while that's doing its thing we should just be under it so it should stay loaded if we come down you'll see on the map now if we have a look you might be able to see a few interesting bits now as it, this is a path that I had to travel to go find my body and the dungeon is here where you can see the water I found it when I got lost and then got trapped between two skeletons and a zombie so you can see all this is skulk all the green stuff this is one of those trials mineshaft a bit of a mineshaft there another trial another trial there is no way I could have found pretty much any of this in the vanilla vanilla uh, map non maps or anything I would 
I've lost all my stuff because I wouldn't have found my body in time because I was lost and I wouldn't have come across anything of this this I mined into just mining straight I wouldn't look at the minimap to do it I was mining a straight line to get down to a certain uh, X level mined across to a certain Z level that thing's not near a, a sensor so we don't have to worry about it but you can see we flooded it because obviously water above we found a music disc horseshoes which we can add to horses it's just one of those funny little things I decided to add why not have horseshoes for horses it's like if we have horses we might as well be able to shoot them that was real smart that's not going to end well Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, as you can see, it has eaten it and turned it into an ore block. I will <laughs> go find my body, grab my stuff, I'll show you what the pop-up was that grade mod thing which I think there should be something in vanilla that stops you losing all your items and your items exploding everywhere but we'll do a corpse run and then I'll show you what everything is we made it uneventfully up the stairs so we break this with any pickaxe it drops this stuff which is raw very core now I have got a little bit extra this is four of these ingots when we make a ingots and a coal and it just allows me to burn one item per fuel amount instead of wasting all my uh, resources to quality of life like pretty much everything in this it's quality of life there's nothing OP about pretty much anything it just allows us to have more coal or more fuel than we might otherwise have and it comes into this ingot form which then we can craft different items pickaxe axe sword shovel it's pretty much my, uh, iron level fluids and all that so you don't need a thousand buckets so it's really just a quality of life thing but it cost me nine to get three to four of these so it cost me nine iron yeah three six nine yep to get three to four so it's not exactly great uh, that way either so that's what that is it is going to also give us some a uh, little bit of perks but yeah so lion farms up that nightmare is over don't have to deal with the villagers anymore don't have to play catch me if you can with zombies anymore don't have to drop them through that's my little death thing I gotta turn those type of things off and that is probably going to do it for this one and next time I want to get into the end not the end the nether to then work our way to the end because obviously we need to get some of the brewing stuff to try to uh, make some potions and so we can take a dragon on a bit easier and that will take a little bit of luck because I want to find a fortress 
I want to find, we need to find a fortress, need to find a place, need to do all that. So I'll catch you next time, and goodbye.